Hi everybody, I'm BC and welcome to another episode of Nomads. So I was browsing through the workshop uh, yesterday and a few, couple of little interesting flyer designs decided to show up and I thought I'd go ahead and showcase them. Uh, as far as flyers go, I'm not going to give any details out, but I know there's something that's going to be coming out in the next little bit here, not necessarily the next update, but uh, coming up soon that's going to really help the flyer industry, but we'll... We'll get to that when it actually comes out. But anyways, a couple of ones we want to check out today is... So the first one is going to be the MSV Warbler by Viking Noble. Uh, it is 1 minute 15 seconds. It's an it's a exploration plane, small to trim generated with solar power and 12 batteries. Uh, 14 air blades, max 70 speed. Uh, sex, max 70 kilometers, sorry. And yeah, the, all the basics with uh, 15 storage containers. There is the build cost. And here it is. Uh, when building it, it's recommended to build it low to the ground. It does have suspension on the front. Uh, I might be able to tighten them up a little bit. And here it is. So basically, he just they just took a plane. Or I tried to make a plane look like a plane. Uh, sadly, with this game at the moment, there is no aerodynamics. But that could be something we could be seeing sometime down the road uh, with other things they're trying to add to the game. But, you know... All good things come in time, right? But anyways, here we go. So this is the Warbler. It's a fun little exploration plane. I've actually thought about trying to do like an airplane sort of thing myself. I think the closest I've done was attempting the Chinook. And that was, that was a helicopter. It was realistically possible. It did sort of work. It was... Back then, we didn't have this that increased third-person zoom, so it was it's pretty difficult to fly something like that because the camera's in the, the inside the helicopter the whole time. This is not bad, as you can see. He's got the solar panels on the tail there and on the front of the wings, just to not only add design but uh, for charging purposes. You can see the got the that'd be the printer on that side, the containers on this side. He's got a scanner there and a few things. Uh, when I did load it up, I was having sort of like a bobbing issue bouncing back and forth. I did try putting the air blades in the back on sideways. It didn't really help too much, but it's actually flying better than it was earlier. So this is it. This is the Warbler. Let's get in a little closer view here. There we go. Nice little design. I've, like I said, it's really interesting how people are getting creative with the... Uh, the designs, even like the little small block details to get the tail, the little beacon on it, even though it's not necessary, but it's there. And it looks good. So good job. That is the MSV Warbler by Viking Noble. Uh, you can find it in Steam Workshop. The link will be in the description for a direct download as well. Next up, we got the B3 Scarlet Witch by Cesar. Build time is 58 seconds. Average speed, 58 kilometers an hour. Uh, apparently it can only go 85 meters high, but that could be depending on where he built it. Maybe he built it up in a mountain, or they built it up in a mountain. So they can only get 85 meters above their beacon, but if you build this in the desert, you probably get like 250, 300. It all depends on where you build it, uh, just because the altitude is restricted by the water table, I believe. But anyways, yeah, so uh, two uranium generators. I haven't actually translated any of this. Uh, eight air blades. There are notes, but I have not had any issues flying it. So this is it. So yeah, there is the build cost. And there is the Scarlet Witch. I see a lot of people using these new blocks for things like legs and stuff like that. Honestly, I haven't even touched them yet. I don't think I've even used the lockers yet either. I think I've used them for... I think I might have put them on the pirate ship, but that was about it, you know, the, the Revenger. But here we are. This is like a really nice spade design. I really like it. You know, if the beacons weren't so heavy, I would suggest them to put an actual, like a, like a big beacon in between those as like a little death ray from the front of it. Again, having proper flight controls like roll and yaw and stuff like that would be nice. Well, I guess we could technically, but... Not yet, anyways, and I've said too much. But anyways, this is it. This is a really nice, fun little flyer. Let's uh, see if we can get a nice first-person view out of this one. A little, little P-51 
pincher in the front there. It's really nice design. I really like it. Uh, colorful. Uh, sorry, I'm looking for the third person key again. Spins on a dime. And as you can see, he's got the generator. They have the generators low down, so it's uh, it's not gonna actually top on you. I don't think I could roll this thing if I tried. A little back heavy, but that's fine because that actually uh, counteracts the the forward momentum when you're pushing forward. So there we go. We got little running lights. I oh oh oh, not good to crash people's designs. But we don't have block damage yet, so that's that's okay. That's gonna worry me when we start getting block damage. And if they do implement, I hope there is gonna be like an invincibility mode, like Besiege, so you can actually take things and crash them. But there we go. That is the the B3 Scarlet Witch by Cesar. Uh, again, you can find this one on the Steam Workshop. Uh, link will be in the description for a direct download if you're not on Steam, and you can check it out for yourself. And finally, we have a very interesting submission by Sidetails. Uh, the only reason why I downloaded this one is because it was actually causing a bit of a commotion. So I thought I'd check it out and see what's going on and hopefully it doesn't get me a copyright claim. Uh, I won't say anything, but you already know what it is. Uh, uh, you can imagine a smile on my face when I step into it. Well, I sort of got my, that smile too, but uh, there we go. There is the build class. Relatively cheap, with, except for the, the reinforced frames and... Probably mark the composite, but anyways, let's go for a ride. And that's something I don't know if you noticed that I might have to let the devs know about this. But when it's printing it, you don't see the the beacons, the solar beacons through the glass. Uh, there it is, really, really nice. It'd be nice if this was actually a panel instead of the window, but that's what makes it uh, different, if you know what I mean. There it is really flies good really maneuverable it's probably not too heavy probably less yeah, probably less than a ton I'd say I'm sure I could check it out it's like turns on a dime which makes it very difficult to fly well that's also difficult to fly when you're changing between first and third person I really like it good job good job and that is the rebel scum. Uh, you know, I'm worried about copyright claim on something like this, yet something I'm working on, if that doesn't scream copyright claim, then I don't know what will, but you never know. But anyways, that is the rebel scum by Sightails. Uh, again, you check this one out in the Steam Workshop. Uh, you might be subscribed to them already from the last one. Uh, and yes, uh, there will be a link in the description down below for a direct download. And there we have it. Three great creative builds that just shows the limitless possibilities that is Planet Nomads. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to swing by the Steam Workshop. Leave these guys a, a, a big thumbs up. Leave a good comment. Check out the builds themselves. And as always, there's going to be links in the description to download them for yourself if you're not with Steam. And until then, happy nomading.